Good morning. It's time for another Callie and Allie in the morning episode with hangers. Episode two. Dos. Dos. Remy. Peace. <laughs> so today what we are going to do is show everybody how we make our giant hanger. The reason why we make our giant hanger is because Callie's back was hurting her, taking the pictures of the clothes flat laying on the floor. Not good for your back. No not bueno. good for it's anybody's no bueno. back. Yeah, and you know, it's white background looks better than a concrete background. Very true. Yeah, eBay likes that more. So we're going to do it eBay's way. White background, we're gonna show you how we make our giant hanger. And just so everybody knows, we stole this idea from Trista, Trista. from Side Hustle Pros. You the best, girl. Thanks, Trista. So what we're doing is we're making Trista's giant hanger design, and we're changing it a little bit, kind of like a modification, so it'll just work better for us. altering it a little. Yeah, just to make it a bit more stable, because I guess we're kind of rough whenever we're Jab that hanger inside and yeah. outside. I'd be breaking stuff. It's no good. So you have to extra sturdy it. It was really pathetic watching Kylie use it for the first time. I couldn't get it in or out. Oh, <laughs> that's what. Oh, no, not appropriate. Cut. Cut. <laughs> first thing you need one hanger, two hanger, two hangers. Second item that you'll need bum, ba, bum, tape. The third item you're going to need is a long piece of cardboard. And then the fourth item, who? <laughs> oh. Scissors. Children, don't throw them. Here are all the things. Step one, we need to break this hanger. I'm gonna do it with a towel because I don't have any safety goggles or gloves, which is probably not a good idea, but it'll work. It'll work. Oh, that one doesn't wanna break. Uh-oh. You're doing great. Callie, this one won't break. Is it too flimsy? It's um, it's just really good plastic. <laughs> we need a different hanger. Try breaking that one, I guess. No, I definitely can't break this thing. We need one of the black hangers that'll snap. I'll go get one. That should be plenty. I brought you four. One of these should break. <laughs> Round two, hanger versus Ali. Ah, oh, much better. So here we are, we broke this off, and we're gonna break it in the center right here. Trash this. <laughs> <laughs> and we are left with this hanger and these. So, what we're going to do is tape this hanger to that hanger. We're gonna get a piece of tape. Before. And we're gonna tape the hanger onto this hanger. So basically you just take the broken one and lay it on the edges of the non-broken one? Exactly. Nice. Now what I'm going to do is trace the hanger onto the cardboard because it creates stability whenever you're sliding the hanger in and out and these tend to get caught on the clothes. Very true. So it works really, really well. And that is what we changed from Trista's, but the way that she does it works for her. This is just the way that we do it. What you finna do now? Now we're gonna cut this out. Cut, cut, cut it up. <laughs> cut, cut it up. So much focus. Round them corners, girl. Just you know, I like a round corner so it doesn't get caught on anything. So there you have it. And we will now tape the hanger to the cardboard. All right, all right. Ta-da! This is the front. This is the back. It's very, very unattractive. But the reason that we add this is for stability because cardboard will bend whenever you're putting it in and out of shirts or break, you know, it's just corrugated. So yeah, so da Would you like to see the final product? Yes, please. And the reason why we did this cutout. Uh-huh. It's for the Tommy Bahama for your mama. For your mama. Something big so we can show the people, you know, why you make the big hanger. All right, so. 
This is an XL. Let's do this a regular hanger first to show them what it looks like. This lame hanger. The before and after, y'all. This is how it looks. So it's kind of just droopy and doesn't look too great. Blah. What's it look like with the upgraded hanger? So you go from the bottom to put these hangers in because they're extra big. And the reason we did the cutout is, as you can see, with the larger shirt, even whenever we pin the top button here, the cutout is right there. So when we pull it, you can still see all the tags. No cardboard is showing like on our previous hanger, the cardboard shows. So we had to make this new hanger anyways. And voila. Look at that. Okay. So much better. Win. Thanks for watching our video. Thanks guys. I hope you learned a lot about how to make a hanger. I hope that you make a hanger. I hope this hanger helps you. Thank you so much Side Hustle Pros. We can make a link down below for their video if you want to see how she made her hanger. Right, right, right. Um, you could just leave it like she did it. You can try it our way. Maybe you can make one of each. Right. Yeah. And now we are going to take a ton of pictures. Truck. That's the sound of a really loud truck outside. So thanks for watching another episode of Callie and Allie in the morning. And we will see you next time. Bye. Ciao. Hashtag feed Ali. <laughs> Ryan made me breakfast and I'm gonna share it with Callie, but if she wants some, Callie, do you wanna share my breakfast with me? I like food. You're hungry. <laughs> mm. <laughs>